What's going on everyone? Ancap24 here from huddle.gg. And in today's video, we're gonna show you a simple route combination that absolutely attacks cover three in a way that really helps you depict the game. Now, if this is the first time checking out our channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification in order to make sure you never miss any of our uploads. Now, this type of route combination, guys, is something that is very simple because it is something you can do with hot routes. Now, when you put it together with a backside in or dig, it really makes the uh, route combination that much better. And I'm just going to show you a little bit of an illustration of what I'm talking about. So the play we're going to start off with, and I'm going to show you several different plays throughout this video, is called Curl's Dig. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a opportunity to kind of isolate the curl flat with a flat route in order to make sure that he jumps down for us to get what we want. So if you look here, I got cover three all queued up on the defensive side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to block the running back. I'm going to put the uh, tight end on a streak. I'm going to put the slot receiver on a flat and then the outside receiver on a slant. All three of those guys, obviously, we've hot routed. OK, next step I'm going to do is I'm going to move the B over. I typically like to hike it when he's you know at the hash mark, but I'm going to let him settle just for the sake of, of talking through the video. Now, what you're going to see is on the right hand side, the curl flat, his responsibility is to basically play the curl, the area of the curl, and then go down to the flat. Because there's no other threats over there on the right side of the screen, he's going to jump the flat and he's going to allow this slant to get open on the right hand side. Something that will be uh, not, uh, the user won't jump this very often in the beginning of the game because uh, he feels like the, the curl flat should be there. And when he does, Eventually, we want to have the X for even bigger yards coming from left to right. Okay, so watch what happens here. Watch the B. He's going to come down over here. Easy throw, catch this ball, and you get some easy yards, right? You can uh, turn that up the field and get even more. Now, if you look at what happened, I want to make sure that you understand the, the concepts, guys. I want to make sure that it, it's more about teaching you how to fish, right? So because 88 here went to the outside, the curl flat is looking for the curl. There's anything like that. When I say curl, the curl area. Um, and because there's nothing there, he's going to come hard down on the flat because that's his responsibility. Leaving the slant because it's a delayed route that comes through his zone. Open, you catch the ball, and you get yourself a few some yards, right? Now, what's really nice about this route combination is that you've got the ability to hit the X. That's why I've chosen this play to show it to you, okay? So A on the streak, RB on the flat, B on the slant, and say this time they're taking this guy right here, Martinez, and they are going to cover the slant. Say, so, you know, at, at, at this point, what they're going to do is I'm not giving up the slant this time, right? They're going to move this guy over, and what we're going to do is we're going to hike it. Uh, I like to do it right at the hash marks. The B comes across. They're going to cover the B. We torched them, but here's the second part, right? We hit this guy over the middle. Now, when we hit this guy over the middle, um, what you're going to notice is that the user just can't cover both. It's a really nice um, spaced play to where if they have to um, sell out to cover him and then basically cover him to the right side of the numbers, there's no way that on this guy's break that they're going to be able to cover both those players. See how, how well it's spaced out? That's why I like this route combination. Now, I'm going to show you that this can be replicated in a lot of different formations. So let's go to just some different ones to make sure that you understand um, how and why this works, okay? So it can be done in my favorite formation that I'm running right now, gunwing slot offset. We, we've shown this in our game plan. Um, it can be done in uh, tight formations. So let's, let's just tell tight slots, right? Um, let's go with Poco. So let's do the same thing here. And call cover three. Again, what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these guys on a streak, one of these guys on a flat, take the Y, put him on a slant. And what I would do is I would move this guy out, you know, kind of hike it to where he is, uh, you know, giving you another route. This would be great, like if it's, you know, third and 13, where you can smart route that guy or something like that. And what you see is that Y is going to get wide open over here. We throw it to him, we catch our ball and get ourselves some easy yards, right? Now... Another way we could do this is like add a gun bunch. Um, what's it called gun bunch uh, tight end, and we'll do inside switch. What I like about inside switch, and I want to make sure that you kind of understand this, is that we can also use the running backs flat. But the running backs flat because it comes from inside, not from on the line of scrimmage. 
makes the curl flat take a little bit longer to, um, you know, basically he'll have a little bit better opportunity of playing the slant route. And I'm going to show you that here. So on this type of route combination, what I'll do is I'd spread that guy out so I'd have a uh, post. But watch how we're still going to be able to get this Y open. And you can see how we're able to get it right there. Sometimes if you if you wait a half a second longer, that guy will come play it a little bit better, but you still have him open. Now, I'm going to go one step further on this and, and kind of explain what adjustments people can make in order to kind of stop this. And um, the first way is to... Uh, go ahead and um, protect the sticks, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call Dagger from Gun y Tri uh, Gun <laughs> Tray Y Flex. Now, this play is a headache, right? This is a play everybody's probably faced before. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to change the zone adjustments so that I can kind of go and not go back and forth to 25 yards, okay? And so the first thing I'm going to show you is if somebody goes ahead and wants to play... Um, protect the sticks. They're going to put the player at 10 yards. That absolutely will stop the slant, but it's an easy high-low read. So what I'm going to do here is kind of show this in this regard, right? This is kind of what we were talking about as far as the, the um, route combination. If they go ahead and they play player protect the sticks, they're going to play the B. He's going to be wide open. You just dump it off to the Y and you're going to get yourself five to six yards um, all the way down the field. They just, they can't stop that, right? Um, the second method that I like to talk about is that I like to play with gun tray white flex come out. People will have to be forced to play their zones at a deeper level to stop this route. That's kind of one of the routes in the game that the zone um, depth was put in for. So people are going to play 25 yards in zone depth. When you come out in uh, gun tray white flex, you're giving them that um, threat that they have to play that. So a lot of times I'll come out and gun tray Y flex, make sure that they go to 25 yards. And I'm going to do the same exact route combination out of gun tray Y flex. And now I'm going to throw underneath the, um, the adjustment they had to do because of the fact that they had to wait for it. So here's the underneath it. And we're going to get ourselves an easy 15 to 20 yards. So this route combination can work when they're doing um, protect the sticks, we throw it to the flat. When they're doing deep zones to stop the um, the crosser, then we throw it underneath it. And then uh, when they don't do anything, we hit that. And that's why I really like this because it's something that's very versatile. It can be something that can give them a headache. The only way people are really going to stop it is if they kind of protect the sticks and also put a hard flat underneath it. And when they start doing that, the rest of the, I mean, if they have to do that to stop one route combination, the rest of the field's going to be open. That's just the way it works, right? Because now they're not, um, basically they have to put another player in that zone. They've got to, you know, uh, they loosen up the middle of the field. It's just kind of something that you're, you know, getting an advantage by them having to do that. So uh, add this route combination to your to your game. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, you're a pro. Um, this type of route combination is going to open up the game when people play cover three. I know a lot of the year right now is man coverage, but that will change very quickly. That's the way meta is every year. It starts off with man because the players are a little bit better um, when it comes to defense than the receivers start off to be. And as soon as the receivers start to get better, as you can see in Mutt, um, it's starting to change, you know, in regs, it's a little bit different because you've got a mix of players, but um, you're going to start seeing cover twos and cover threes and, you know, things are going to get mixed in again this year. And when that starts happening, I want to get ahead of it for you and kind of show you a simple route combination. So we appreciate y'all and we'll catch you on tomorrow's video.